We told you last week how soybean aphids were making their way to Nebraska soybean fields. This week, it's spider mites. UNL educators are reporting spider mites are starting to build up primarily in corn, but also in soybeans. UNL Extension entomologist Bob Wright talks about finding and treating these pests. Things to look for, typically they build up in, in water-stressed plants, so either uh, dry, dry pivot corners or areas with sandy soil or maybe a south or west facing side of the field is often where spider mites start building up. And the thing to look for is they feed on the undersides of the leaves. They have small, tiny needle-like mouth parts that stick into the, the leaf and suck out the, the uh, green tissue. And so you have yellow spots that you can see from above. And so look in the lower parts of plants and see if you can see yellowing or yellow spots. And then turn the leaves over and see if you can see spider mites. Uh, sometimes there may be webbing associated with the feeding if they're very abundant. The other thing is you know, it need to be aware that we don't want to treat too early because most of the insecticides we'd use for spider mites also kill off the natural enemies that help control them. So we want to wait, wait until we have a threshold to treat, uh, but also be aware there's other insects around that may be building up on soybeans in particular, such as uh, soybean aphid or stink bugs to watch for as well. More detailed treating information for spider mites is available on the CropWatch website. We'll also link to that through our homepage.